Thank you for tuning in to Macroview Television and welcome to a brand new edition of the Taiwan Outlook, the program that brings Taiwan to the world. And I'm your host, Rig Wu. On today's program, we're delighted and honored to have a very special guest from the National Central University, Professor Sherry Chen, as our guest on the program today. As many of you will discover later that Professor Chen may be miniature in physical size, but she's certainly a giant in inspiration to many of us. Professor Chen, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Ray. It's my pleasure to participate in your program. Uh, I'd like to talk to you. Sure. <laughs> we will continue our discussion. As we first we ask you, Professor, you are a professor at the Graduate Institute of Network Learning Technology at the National Central University. Would you then please tell us at first that what are the subject matters and what are the focus of your research you know, currently at the National Central University? Okay. I am particularly interested in human, not only in the... Human beings. Yeah, uh, human beings. Okay. So not, not only in um, the computing facility. Mm -hmm. So my subject area is human-computer interaction. The okay. module that I teach is interaction design. Okay. Uh, you may ask me what the module is. This okay. module is to teach students how to design a computer-based system that uh, can accommodate a user's mm -hmm. needs, that a uh, user will feel easy to use. Mm -hmm. uh, when users use such a system, they will have a high level of enjoyment. Okay, and I understand that you went to your grand, uh, undergraduate your education here in Taiwan at the Catholic Foreign University. Uh, what was your subject matter at the uh, Foreign University? My subject uh, already in Foreign Catholic University is library science. Okay, uh, so did you develop the interest in computer and personalized you know, technology at the time when you were undergraduate student? Uh, no, actually, when, uh, I think in the last year of, of my undergraduate study, yeah. I take some computing course. Mm -hmm. uh, at the late moment, I started to be interested in, in computer science. Okay. And then, uh, later on, I went to the United States to study my master degree. I, I also take some computer science course. Okay, so uh, you develop interest mm -hmm. further. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was at the University of Maryland. Yeah. Okay. But after your master's degree in the U.S., you went on to the United Kingdom, uh, England, for your doctorate training. Yeah. And the University of Sheffield. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell us that experience a little bit? You were there about three to four years for your uh, doctoral training. Oh yeah, I, I started my PhD in University of Sheffield in 1997. Mm -hmm. Then I got my PhD in 2000. Um, my supervisor is Professor Nigel Ford. I quite enjoy his uh, study there. Um, yes. Uh, I think uh, Sheffield provides me very uh, strong foundation mm -hmm. and, uh, for being an academic star. Yes. Uh, so I think uh, at the late time, a lot of people influenced me, especially for oh, my PhD supervisor. I think uh, he is, uh, I think the best way to describe him is he is a very supportive and yes. uh, but a serious supervisor. Okay. And, uh, uh, the, uh, he, and you can see uh, when I start my PhD, he asked me to write uh, uh, a document every week this document should include 2500 words every mm, week okay. so he is a very serious on the other hand he is a very supportive yes. so he uh, when, when i need some mm. help he always try his best to, to support me mm -hmm. uh, even when i was uh, looking for a job in the uh, uk mm -hmm. so this training of course help you yeah. but later on when you finish your doctorate you apparently had a difficult time finding a suitable teaching position in the UK. That took a little while. Can you share with us that process? Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, I already expect I will have some difficulty in finding a job. So I started to find a job uh, very early. Mm -hmm. It is very easy for me uh, to uh, get an interview opportunity. Yes. However, it's very difficult for me to get a job. To uh, get a final offer. Yeah, final offer, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, for example, if I post three applications, yes. at least I will get a, a two, uh, uh, two, two interview interviews. opportunity. Good. So I went to the interview to different places, in, from north to, uh, to south, from east to west. Okay. I think every place in the internet, I went to the interview. Mm -hmm. um, one day I 
I, I went to a university f, uh, to the interview. Mm. Uh, the head of the department is very surprised mm -hmm. that uh, uh, the I am so small. And he said to me, Shuri, uh, you are so small. I, I didn't know you, you are so small. Oh, at a later moment, I already got a hint uh, they will not uh, uh, appoint me. Mm -hmm. uh, so but we continue. But uh, I think uh, I, I have to say sometimes I feel very depressed, and feel very, uh, very frustrated. Mm -hmm. However, my PhD supervisor is very supportive. Yes. Uh, when he found me, I feel very frustrated. He, he talked to me, he said, Sherry, you are my best student. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, and uh, yeah, um, when I teach, and uh, supervise you. I found you have some talent. Okay, yes. you should be confident that you make a such a great achievement in your PhD study. Of course, I am confident you will find a job in uh, in the in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to be patient. You just need to wait for the time. Okay, and uh, uh, my PhD supervisor is right. Finally, mm -hmm. I got a job in in Bernal University. Yes, I have to say I quite enjoy working in Bernal University. And uh, now I try to think about why I got a job in Bernal University. Mm -hmm. If I got some, uh, if I got a job easily earlier, mm -hmm. then I may not be able to work in Bernal University. Mm -hmm. so I may not have such a nice time. Okay. So it proved uh, uh, losing is an opportunity to win. Of course, the, the best opportunity available. Yes, and Professor Chen, we know that you're currently still a reader. Uh, for the University of uh, Brunel, for some of the PhD students that used to, you know, teach, that you still, you know, supervise their work and then, uh, you know, review some of the you know, papers uh, they have presented. And also the fact of the matter is that you have uh, gone through your education here in Taiwan, in the U.S., and in the U.K., and also you have taught in the UK at University of Brunel for about eight years before coming back to Taiwan in August of 2009. So in this process, you've come across a lot of you know, difficult situations when people made the issue out of your physical size, including possibly your students today in Taiwan at the National Central University. Then can you share with us, I know this may not be easy, but Professor Chen, can you share with us how do you respond to students or people or colleagues you know, who look at you only in your physical appearance, physical size, but doesn't, you know, how to, doesn't know how to react and interact with you in the process? How do you overcome that you know, stigma? Uh, okay, of course, uh, uh, people, when people first time meet me, they will feel shocked especially uh, mm -hmm. for the student, they mm -hmm. will feel a little bit of uh, a surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, I think maybe I have been a professor, uh, they have seen, uh, maybe I have been a small professor, uh, they have seen. So, okay. in, so it's a different, uh, it's a different experience for, for them. Mm -hmm. However, what a student are concerned is a uh, how tall I am. Okay. I still ca uh, the concern is uh, whether I am happy to help them, whether mm -hmm. I am, can mm -hmm. help them to improve themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, after I show my expertise to them, after I show I am willing to help them, they mm -hmm. will forget yes. my disability. So, in particular, uh, computing facility are widely used in classroom. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter Taiwan, United States, United Kingdom. So such a computing facility help me a lot. So mm -hmm. it uh, doesn't influence me in uh, teaching uh, uh, so much. Doesn't you know, hamper you. I also want to make a minor correction. You you don't have a disability. You have a differentiation. <laughs> <from> all of us. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> well, and uh, you know the fact of the matter was that uh, when you were invited to come back to Taiwan in August of 2009, you turned it down first. And the reason you gave was that you felt that you were too short to assume that position. Why was that? Um, okay, I, I, I think it is a, I didn't use uh, being too short as a reason to reject it. Mm -hmm. However, I, I, I tell them the truth mm -hmm. because initially when the National Central University approached me, mm -hmm. we communicate each other by email, by telephone. They didn't see me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 
I, I, I think uh, I have a responsibility to tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. So I say to the previous head of the institute, mm -hmm. I, I am very small. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, the, the previous head of the department uh, told me uh, it's not an issue. They it's not an issue. It's uh, not a concern. Uh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I feel they don't care about my disability mm -hmm. <laughs> at all. Yeah. And. Uh, also, in the past three years, uh, I interact with them. We work together. Mm -hmm. We do some research together. I found the National Science University has some um, talent people. Mm -hmm. They are very keen to mm -hmm. make achievement. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, if I work with them, uh, I can help uh, them to make some achievement. Also, I can help myself to improve myself. Also, to improve uh, Taiwanese uh, uh, academic. Uh, uh, community. Yeah. On the other hand, uh, recently, every year, I came back to Taiwan once yes. a year. Mm -hmm. um, I found is uh, mm, dis disabled people in Taiwan need some help. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am lucky one. In my past days, I got some help from many people. And so I think if I come mm -hmm. back to Taiwan, so I can help them. So in other words, is uh, come back to Taiwan uh, can help me to improve myself, also give me opportunity to help other people. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back to the Taiwan Outlook, and we will continue our conversation with Professor Sherry Chen of the National Central University. We'll be back in three minutes. <laughs> 